Hi everyone, how are you doing? My first name is Jamshid and my last name is Parchizadeh. I am an Iranian biologist working on Iran's fauna since 2012. I am sure most of you know that two bear species occur in Iran, the Asiatic black bears and brown bears. The Asiatic black bears occur in the mountainous areas of the south and the southeast of the country in the provinces of Kerman, Hormozgan and Sistan and Baluchistan. Brown bears occur in the Alborz mountains in the north and the Zagros mountains in the west and also a very small biosphere reserve called Arasbarar which is located in the northwest of the country. Human brown bear interactions always occur in Iran and these interactions can result in injury or death to people or bears. That is why Dr. Gerald L. Bland from the State University of New York, College of Environmental Science and Forestry, and I compiled data on this kind of interactions in Iran from 2005 to 2019 using material published and disseminated by the Iranian government. Of 120 reported human caused mortalities of brown bears in Iran, 68% were illegally shot. 18% died from collisions with vehicles, 9% were stoned, 2% trapped, 2% killed by trains, and 1% poisoned. 22% of these birds were male, 22% female, and 56% unspecified. 36% of these birds were adults, 10% juveniles, 27% cubs of the year, and 27% unspecified age. Birds attacked 57 people, injuring 91% and killing 9%. Shepherds were attacked most. Dr. Belant and I suggest Iran's Department of the Environment, which is the governmental organization responsible for conserving Iran's fauna and flora, consider the following to mitigate human brown bear interactions. First, increase the number of wardens within protected areas to reduce the number of birds illegally shot. Second, educate local people and communities to promote human bear coexistence. And third, encourage shepherds to use alternative animal husbandry systems such as night penning to reduce bear attacks. In my opinion, IBA is a very important organization. I believe that IBA has devoted itself to the conservation of all eight bear species around the world, and I mean it. For instance, the IBA sponsors international conferences in which lots of bear experts can attend. At the conferences, the bear experts can exchange ideas, can learn about each other's work, can create and develop conservation projects and these are really important things. I really admire and appreciate what the IBA does. Anyway, I'm looking forward to meeting you at the conference. Please take care of yourself and stay healthy until we meet there. Thank you very much.